Hi. <laughs> Good morning. Morning, morning. Let's start with a cough. Don't know why. <laughs> so, oh no, I've got to speak, so I have to cough. Hope everyone is good this morning. Um, that was last week's one. A bit weird, really. <laughs> um, so this week I'm going to paint. Sorry for my hair gets in the way. Um, some flowers from my garden. I've been out and picked some. So, um, these are them here in the thing. It's got um. The stocks, these ones, they smell beautiful. I've got Acclesia, some, I'm not sure what these poppies are called, but I've got lots of them. Can you see? I don't know if you can see them. And um, this like thistly thing. So I'm just gonna stick them here and see what I sort of paint them. Like purple and orange is speaking to me. And oh, I've got this thing as well. I don't know what that is called. But I thought it might make a nice sort of background bit. But I like, love Acclesias. Um, there is a video of me painting them somewhere. Hi Lisa. Good morning, good morning. How is it down in sunny Sussex? Is it nice and hot? It's nice out today. Um, these are like uh, really, I don't know, they're not as vibrant. They change colour every year, the, the Ecclesias. Um, I suppose they sort of just come up every year. And so I've got lots of purples this year. Well, last year they were more bluer, which is weird. Um, and there's another thing that changed colour. Oh yeah, I've got a succulent. And last year it was pink and this year it's white. It's strange. I don't know how that works. But I'm sure there's some scientific reason <laughs> or whatever. Um, I'm just using my sketchbook again, which is, isn't is even um, watercolour paper. It's mixed media cartridge paper. So I'll just be... Um, doing some painting in here probably a bit like oh, these are flowers from my garden from last year a bit like these ones these were those sweet pea things and corn flowers so it's going to be something like this along those lines my book's a bit handy <laughs> morning Mindy how are you morning Chloe hello 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 sorry if I don't say hello straight away so I've got my close-up glasses on and my computer screens over there <laughs> I haven't got my iPad up at the minute I should put my iPad closer and then I'll be able to see who's here but anyway I gotta start painting and um, see see where it takes us I'm starting off with these I don't know. again I haven't really painted I haven't painted since last week and if you're a member of my patreon do come and join me there and we're painting um tropical flowers Tropical flowers and tropical birds. Um, tonight's one, I try and like put them up every Wednesday. The stem on this is sort of pinky red colour. Um, if I remember, I'll tell you what colours I'm using. What was I was saying pa Patreon, <laughs> where I get distracted easily. <clears throat> um, Patreon, I'm going to be painting, I think. today this week is um a toucan so we're, we're studying like tropical flowers and birds and leaves and things which is cool i'm going to use cascade green by daniel smith because i love that color and i'm going to stick it in my palette sorry i haven't got a picture of my palette up i didn't um i didn't my camera keeps moving so it picks up my body you don't want to see my body <laughs> have I got that right now I don't know you don't want to see my body do you no. <laughs> I don't know why it's moved no it's too far oh I don't know it's just little little steps little steps <laughs> I did set it up so it was fine but now it's weird oh I don't care Anyway, there we go. Now I'm distracted again. I don't know what I was talking about. <laughs> Hi, Rosalie. Hello, 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 hello. <clears throat> Sorry if I don't say hello straight away. Um, I can't see my screen very well. 
I am a bit more organised this morning. I have actually um, got <laughs> clean water. I've set my brush out and let's add a little zillion crimson in here. <gasps> How dare you? Um, I've set my brush out and everything's tickety boo. But the only thing I didn't put was my iPad, so I can't see. <laughs> Hope everyone's good this morning. Oh, those stocks, I can smell the stocks. They smell delicious. I just, I just love that smell of them. I've got quite a few in the garden. I seem to do well one year more than the other. I suppose they like self seed around. Let's put a bit of Hansa yellow in here. Hansa, I use Hansa yellow a lot because it's the only Hansa, <laughs> it's the only yellow I have. Anyway. Um, this is a Van Gogh pink, it's dusky pink on the pinky dusky and then I'm adding a bit of azalean crimson and a hair. So I'm not really, again, as I always say, I'm um, painting the essence of the flower. It's not, oh gosh, it's not a bit, I need a smaller brush. <laughs> I do try and persevere with this one because it's nice and it's got a nice tip on it and then I'm also very lazy. So I can't be bothered to go and find another brush. Oh, that's dark. I end up doing them. I need to take my that darky, dusky pink out. Everything's ending up dusky. It's taking over the world. Anyway, that's like an apolegia, isn't it? <coughs> There's some really pretty colours in here. I'm mean, like using all my purples. I don't know. Let me just get my my enormous, ginormous, heavy palette. Um, I've got all different pinks and purples all smooshed in here so that's why i don't know what color they're called and if i go and buy another ones i don't really the only ones i really like i do keep a name of like the um daniel smith colors and that and some of them but some of them i forget what they're called and then i end up crying because i can't remember <laughs> But um, but then it's good to experiment and find new colours. There's so there's so much out there. I had a weird comment on my um, uh, paint thing I did the other day, which was funny. Hi Stephen, morning. <laughs> You're awake. Woohoo. Um. Also saying yeah, I had a weird comment on my um test of my schminky paints that I did um tester thing because um oh he was like saying weird stuff like don't get me for bullying because you don't agree with me and I was thinking oh, well, you, people are allowed to disagree with you it was really weird don't look it's still on that <laughs> made me laugh anyway I was thinking oh, weird person you get weird people commenting weird things <laughs> That's a nice chunky stem, isn't it? Oh, hi, Minnie. Where have you been stuck in your bed and you've not been well? Is your back playing up again or something? That's not good. <laughs> um, yeah, I like the schminky paints. Um, they're quite dull compared to... Um, Daniel Smith paint but I like them this is the um, swatch I did from them I think I'm using the green one here one of the greens anyway they're really lovely the colors separate but there we go <laughs> I like them I'm trying to paint a stock here I'm not sure you'll have to tell me more about the painting you want me to do for you my stocks are blue because I've got white paper so they will look white if you put a dark background on them <laughs> my tissue my blotty tissue it's like stocks are quite easy to paint and they're just like generic four petal flowers <laughs> 
but they smell so beautiful and they got little buds and stems and things stick a lot on the Yeah, they're still pretty, Melanie. Very. <laughs> oh, I like them anyway. I haven't really got. I don't, I'm scared to put them in my palette. <laughs> I haven't like put them around because I want to. You'll be like proud of me, Melanie. Did you see the thing? How I am. Um, I swatched them and everything. Look. I did this swatch up here to start with but then I did another one and let, let them all flow in together and you can see the granulation better that um, Shire blue is really beautiful it goes like blue and green and everything but there we go <laughs> it's really pretty apparently they're for people who don't know how to paint Right, let's stick a um, one of these poppies, and I'm not sure what these poppies are. This one's got like white in the petals, which I've got loads of them. They just self seed everywhere. I'm looking out my front window, and they're all along the wall, which is really pretty. So let me see if I can make. I'm using um, vermilion, and I think this is a Winsor and Newton vermilion. I don't use it very much. Orange is a colour that I'm going to mix it with some hands of yellow from Daniel Smith. And just try and do some my um, big opium poppies of um, not opium poppies oriental poppies have um, opened up so um, well one was out the other day so I think probably next week I'll be painting those Woo, lovely many thank you <laughs> I've got um, some some hob home oh I don't know I've just got those granulation ones treated myself <laughs> and that is a thanks to my patreon so if you're a patreon thank you very much i wouldn't be able to um afford paints and things like that and i'll be using them for my um toucan <laughs> let me um that's a bud <laughs> If you didn't know. <laughs> my my um train of thought to things lately has been awful. I get like distracted really easily at the moment. I'm not quite sure why, but um, so I start if I start talking about something and then something catches my mind and then um I go off on something else and then don't finish what I'm saying, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Oh, that was bleach that I put in there, if anybody's new and don't know what it was. Let's add some petals, to, just to make them look like they're sort of sitting. I might try another another stock. I'm going to be painting over here. Um, should I try this? I'm scared to try this. <laughs> I've never painted this thistle thing before. Oh, it's all falling out, this thing. Look, I forgot what they're called. There we go, really nice. Let me just see if I can try it. Oh, everything's falling over. I'm going to try over here. Yeah, make, it, make it nice. It's really like purpley blue. I, haven't, I can't think what colour. It's a clear purple. I haven't got clear purple. More oh, bluey. If I look, stick some lavender in with the blue, the cerulean blue. It might work all this colour here. Let me try. You know when I don't know what the colours are because I just go, oh, this colour. This is going to be like really loosey goosey. So I've never painted one of these before. Can you see over my camera? Oh, the camera's moved again. 
I don't know what it is. It's just my slightly, I think the wire's pulling on it. Sorry. <laughs> Let me move that. This is not blurry anymore. I've got good connection this morning. But she said the, con the connection is excellent, but it should be because it's plugged in. But I have had um, trouble with my internet the other week I did. <laughs> it's like me, Lisa, <laughs> head full of bubbles. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Um, is that Cyril's quiet? Yeah, he's um, I think he's asleep. He hasn't even been out this morning, even though it's a lovely day. I think he might have overdone it yesterday. He was like chasing. That's like really the wrong colour, but it might dry lighter. <laughs> Um, let's do cascade green because I just like cascade green and I'll probably stick a bit of hands of yellow in it because I can and then I'll make my yellow more monkey. I'm just trying to get the, the shape rather than anything else on the leaves. What palette do I use? Rosalie's asking. Oh, I've forgotten what it's called. I think there's a link to it in my... I have got a link to uh, my Amazon thing. Um, I think I get a little commission, but it doesn't stop the... <laughs> I think it's under here. If you click on more, you'll see a link to... This is my palette. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's got... Sometimes they have names on the box. A big, massive ceramic one. Um, and before I just used to use a plastic one, didn't I? But I didn't have enough um, space, <laughs> I found, personally. It's not one I can, like, well, take away. It's, um, it's really heavy as well. But um, some I saw it somewhere, and it was, like, a ridiculous price. And um, I got that off of Amazon. But I saw it somewhere and it was like a ridiculous price, something like 130, some artist was selling it. So, and it was like 130 pounds or something ridiculous. So um, I thought, yeah, it can't be that. So I did a bit of research and I found one for 30 quid. And that's that one. <laughs> nice being back in my sketchbook <laughs> that looks like that doesn't it sort of <laughs> um and if anyone is interested <laughs> but i'm going to be putting up some some prints of my artwork um in my Etsy shop but I don't think my Etsy shop's open at the moment but it will be so keep a look out for that um, um, I've got a um, I'll print them myself so they will be signed and come with a card and everything I'll, I'll tell you a bit more when um, I've got that sorted out because I just need to um, put everything up on the website um, so I've got so many paintings. <laughs> I might I put some original ones up as well. Um because I don't I haven't got much for sale. I don't know what's wrong with me. I never like put my paintings up for sale. <laughs> then wonder why I'm not making any money. You know how it goes. It's just like just put them up for sale. <laughs> Oh, Rosalie, did you, was the link on the thing? <laughs> so I set these things up then I think, is, does it work? Is it on there? <laughs> I think, I'm, sure, I'm sure it's under the video, the, the link thing. It's a fabulous palette, you can just like, 
don't know, it's heavy though. So um, if, you, if you're going to be moving um, it around a lot, I wouldn't, wouldn't, if you'll move, move your stuff, if you can't have it, what am I trying to say? If you're, <laughs> if you move your art supplies around a lot, um, I would, I wouldn't get it because it's really heavy and, um, it's not really, um, I suppose we've got, a, it's quite big. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, so, um. If you move your stuff around a lot, it's not going to um, be that good for you, really, because it's heavy and it'll be like, oh, I've got to get it out again. <laughs> so, unless you have like somewhere set up all the time, it looks pretty as well, so um, you can get away with it. <laughs> um, what no, I haven't done? I haven't done this long pink thing, whatever this is called. Does anyone know? It starts off looking a bit like dock coming up and then it has these and then I've got another one I should know what the plants are in my garden I'm terrible I just can't remember <laughs> and then um, I've got another one which has got dark pink flowers on it and it's like really tall this one isn't as tall I know it takes over and some people go oh no you can't have that that's a light pink the only sort of pink I've got is opera pink by Mission and I might stick it with a bit of, because it's like a soft, um, a soft pink. <coughs> All that squeak is me um, wiping my palette. <laughs> I get too many colours in, because I like painting from, let me explain. I like painting from the middle of my palette with all the colours all mixed in together. So I'm trying to make a sort of a light pink. So I just wiped it with the tissue and I don't mind that other colours come and say hi because that sort of um, makes the colour yours, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and you get unexpected results. So there, there we go. I like different colours saying hi to each other and it just makes it a bit more exciting, your painting, rather than... Oh yeah, that's the colour. Sometimes you can look at a painting and go, oh yeah, that's Daniel Smith. Say so hands are yellow, they've used there, because you can tell. <laughs> but if you paint like this, then um, it's not always that obvious what colours you've used. And then other people can't um, imitate your paintings either, because or copy them exactly, because you've got your own colours. That's why I find it hard to say what colours I'm using when I'm like doing demonstrations because it's usually like a mixture of like god knows what. But as you get more confident and with painting and that you'll you'll find your own way of doing things. I'm just trying to look sorry if I stuck my head in there for you there. So that's something I've got my um, my equilegias there. Taking over my painting. <laughs> oh, thank you. A little poppy there. I might do another one because I just really like them. They're so like papery. You know how much I like painting. Um, look, look at it. Look at this one. It's got lots of frou frous in them, and the fluffy bits in the middle. <laughs> it's like my wording. Frou frous and fluffy bits. That's my description. <laughs> right, I'm going to paint another orange poppy just to, um, I don't know though, does it look, is it going to, I haven't got room because I stick it over this over here. Maybe, I want to paint another one because I like them. I just like the, the frou-frou-ness of them. <laughs> Again, I'm going to be using Hansa Yellow. A bit of vermilion and whatever comes and says hello on my palette. So that has got a bit of this that pink in it because I just mixed the colour over the top. Can you see? I don't know if you can see down there. 
I would use my pencils and um, do some scribbles, but I'm not. My terminology. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. It's original. It's new. You, you, I can't even. It's, it's, it's unique. <laughs> So it has a green bit in the middle and then the little dots around the outside. <laughs> I need a new kitchen roll. Let's look, that's all I've got left. Oh, there is a whole new one over there. I didn't see that. Okay, time to change. <laughs> Put them in the bin. I'm very, um, I use it to death. As you can see, and I'm just going to block this so um, it makes like a papery texture. You can use, if you've got time, <laughs> you can use cling film and put it over the poppy and then wait for it to dry. But I haven't got time this morning. Ain't nobody got time for that. I'm going to use my little brush. Little brush. Yeah, I might make this into a, a pattern. Oh, I keep saying every time I do a painting, I go, I'm going to make this into a pattern. And, and I've got a whole book full of stuff and I've not made them into patterns yet. They take time. <laughs> so this is these little brushes that I got free. You can see them. I don't know what they're called, Arta. I got them free with my Jackson order of those schminky paints because I spent over £50. So um, that was cool. Let's do a little bit of detail. So when you get a little brush, you end up doing detail. It isn't always good. Just do some centers to these. Now it's sort of dried out. I love painting on this paper because it's like totally different to watercolor paper, and you get different different watermarks and things happening. splashes of course. I was gonna paint more acrylages, I might do them later. <laughs> I might um, hang on I might just stick some in here as I'm here. I quite like this now. I, I will put come in when that's dry and do this detail on it. Oh gosh. The like thistly detail. make it look more like the plant but it doesn't have to be exact <laughs> oh we went to a lovely place the other day oh i did put some pictures up on facebook <laughs> so come, go and look at my facebook page if you're interested i like put other stuff up there <laughs> um but i will I am trying to do a vlogs, whether there be once a month or something, but I did have, I've got some vlogs on my other channel, my Mitzi B channel, but I might just put them on this channel. And I don't know whether I'm, I was going to put my Mitzi B painting back on this channel as well, because <laughs> I can. <laughs> Hello. I'm going to paint another aqua leisure thing here. Sorry, I was just like I went quiet there for a bit. I was trying to read the um, chat. <laughs> I need I need to remember to put my iPad in front of me. My, I need my other iPad, my old thing, um, and stick it in front of me, and then I can see see what everyone's saying because um, I have to stop and take the glasses off. <laughs> this is another aquilegia sort of in the backgroundy area they're all they're all purple at the minute oh that's that dusky purple by van gogh which is like they granulate as well which is really nice oh that's a nice purple i'm just <laughs> you, you put colors down and you think oh that's nice oh that's nice that's what I end up doing and then I end up like not painting anything and just putting 
Like this is does not really look like a flower, but I'm just enjoying putting the colours down and seeing what they look like next to each other. And I think it looks nice with like a, a really lime green. See that that is sort of an ecclesia, but you wouldn't know. I'm just sort of doing the shapes and then dropping in the colour, like the silhouette shapes and dropping in more colour, which I like doing. I'm glad you found it though, um. <laughs> Rosalie. And I'm glad they had it on on the um, Australian Amazon. <laughs> God, they get about, don't they? <laughs> what would we do without Amazon? I know some people hate it. I quite personally like it because you get stuff <laughs> straight away because I'm impatient. Right, I think I'm done. I think I'm going to leave that there. That's quite nice, isn't it? It's quite springy. Spring flowers. Um, yeah, next Wednesday will probably be um, my oriental poppies because they're coming out. <laughs> they're, um, yeah, so, yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. Um, please think about joining my Patreon if you're not a member there already. Um, there was a little bit of a quiet spot there whilst uh, as with here <laughs> but i'm back doing things again and um i might see you friday i might not it depends but I, i'm definitely doing this every wednesday so um come and join me and please give us a thumbs up subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't already it's down in this corner <laughs> and um yeah and if you've got any questions please put in below i always answer all of my messages and everything maybe not straight away but I do answer every comment everyone puts there and also look out for a video every I put up a video here every Friday like a pre-recorded one so it'd be up on Friday so I'm not quite sure what it'll be this week I haven't decided yet I'm, I'm a bit behind normally I schedule ahead but I'm a bit behind at the minute anyway thank you for joining me and um, I will see you See you next week or maybe Friday. Depends. <laughs> anyway, take care. Now you'll hear, hear me wheel my the normal goodbye scenario. Now you're going to hear me wheel my chair over and try and find the turn you off button. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Bye. Uh, I'm a squeaky chair. Right. End stream. Bye. <laughs>